Jake back on stage again. That's uh, someone who they had been using uh, a little bit less than uh, we'd seen in the past the stage, relying on Arhan a lot. But now Jake, as of last week, back in the lineup. It's kind of like, is the transcendence percentage that you got equal to what the Houston Outlaws got after winning that fight? Boom in a lot of trouble. Whoa, barely gets the sound barrier right at the very end. Happy still waiting on that grab. Oh, oh that got knocked out. Rio died right as that Earth Shatter came out. Sight line's going to be very important right here. They do have a lot more barrier damage with the Storm Arrows from Hanzo as well as the Roadhog Fire. So they can sort of just play up front with this barrier. Oh, and Happy! Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah, Link's here, you can see, just checking for the Sombra a little bit. Oh, the wall. Nice! He blocks Char off. Gets booped away. Otherwise, that would, would have been a dead Lucio for sure. He'll settle for a dead shoe instead. I, I think I'd be fine with that. Got the grabs. Got the transcendence. There's the Graviton on the other side. Transcendence comes in from Raucus. All right. Hotfoot just trying to fire away as much as he possibly can. Houston's still in this one. They got to stay on the payload. They don't do it. Hotfoot can't fall fast enough as he tries to buy time with the self destruct. Yep. Going to lose him, and it's going to be the charge taking the point first. Nano if boost on Abuma, though. Boomba. So they actually have to leave the point. I was going to say, whoa, there we go. Happy finally finding a pick on the Linkser here. That's a deal with Dante. He got so happy. What a shot. <laughs> you love to see those plays. This roster now, man, the result of what you call a trade that actually benefited both parties. Yeah. I think the Boston Uprising and the Dallas Fuel with RCK coming in to this lineup. We saw what a Dallas home crowd is like. These guys are very much used to being center of attention. They didn't have to go out to Dallas and deal with a hostile crowd. They don't know what they've been through, but they are definitely keen to continue to stack up. Good result after good result. Chance to contest here, but the Gladiators playing so far forward, Matt. I really don't see them touching. Kelexo! Yeah. They can fight this now, they need to stabilize it. Kellex gets the resurrect. Ah, oh, it's big. They get the resurrect on RCK. No EMP, but still, the ability to get these hacks on the point here towards the end is gonna be massive. You see, they just put a lot of pressure on Void, pushing back. Boston close to flipping this. Yeah, instant impact from the Doomfister now. The point is Boston's the Gladiators have to do something. Decay comes back on the Tracer here, but Blase deletes Void all so fast. Hydration, though, he's bringing his own gauntlet, and he's the one to snap his fingers. Then he could be in trouble here, he needs to get airborne and back behind his support line. But now with a Doom Fist online for the Gladiators, they've got to be feeling better. Soundberry comes in, Void and Decay do not benefit from that one as they're not quite in position for it. But Hydration could do some work here. The Gladiators still need to retake control though, that means getting rid of fusions. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have some more players come back from the Uprising here, that'll be... The media strike that comes in from Blase doesn't get anything. Hydration is another kill, man. Sending a message and trying to win the round at the same time. That's multitasking. Hydration, it was a rocket punch across the point, just hoping that Kellex would show a bit longer, but Chaz was there to chase him down. And when you look with his... Oh, Kellex, he got caught there. He couldn't take action and recall even if he wanted to because he was knocked into the air. The burst damage was good, and you had to fire ban EMP on the Los Angeles Gladiators, but the numbers aren't favoring Boston. RCK doesn't seem to care, though. He is now boosted. Here to do some work. Hydration goes down. Another one for RCK, and he's looking to try and carry this one on his back. Translocates back to the point, and now the cavalry has arrived. Fusions is back on the point here. The wrecking ball is for having an impact. Blase getting rid of Raw here. A very long draw now. Five, but it looks like the Boston Uprising able to weather the storm. Decay goes down. Oh, they're gonna Chaz it. is close though. He can stall. He might just wait for a little bit and fade on to keep the round going. But he's blown up. <laughs> that round had everything, what and the round. Doomfist went ham. What a the round. Boston Uprising take map number one, and one of the longest overtimes on a oh. control point I've seen. Because in all fairness, Raw and Hydration are not mobile. They do not want to be having to go to the point physically standing on it. This is going to be filthy. Blase is looking for a barrage at extremely close range. Oh! Jack oh! in his lead though. Get out! Get out! <laughs> that ain't happening today, fam! Mix, but look at they're going to jump on him. Okay, I like that. Doesn't quite work because he gets given a nano boost there. And you can see how much value the Gladiators put on Decay, not only as a, a playmaker, but also getting that Soldier 76's damage back in the fight. Fusions just takes oh, so much damage there. That charge was definitely one of desperation, but Color Hex has been able to find some kills later here in the fight. It's unlikely that it's going to do the job. Oh, okay, he gets three! <laughs> what? Yeah. Even while he was EMP. Okay, yeah, no worries. Hydration now going to come in with the barrage. Taking a pretty big risk trying to challenge him, plus Raw's shield. I mean, Decay get, Decay's getting charged up before the fight starts, but yeah, the uprising had to go in. Oh, they get a big boost! They managed to catch out Hydration as well! The Earth Shatter, it's a brilliant clap back from Raw, but is it too late? Aim God is in a good position to do damage, but Decay jumps on him. 
It might not be enough though. Kellex removes the Zarya and the Uprising are back in control, man. Sound barrier and the Sub Strike use over. Big Goose is down. The key might have been found right now. Fuses does get stunned on three times to go for the Shadow, but Hydration is missing. And the Uprising are focusing these supports down very effectively. Roar is low and there's only one healer alive for the Gladiators right now. Transcendence thrown in by Angle, but they get off the cards. And they've lost an Uprising. Gold star for you guys because you didn't need to do it in a map five. And of course, you exceeded expectations. You got the upset. This match is going to be something that I'm very interested to go back over oh, in yeah. the coming weeks. I do want to hear what the desk has to say about it because we saw the best and the worst, I feel, of both of these teams at different moments. Thank you, Mr. Dallas, and I think it's been sorry. Sorry. sorry as far as I know. I'm also sorry for everyone who watched the pregame show and had to see me uh, put on my Canadian accent, but you know, I'm close enough to the north that I feel it's okay. <laughs> I mean, to talk about a, a team that has lived up to its name, it would be the Vancouver Titans. They have a winning streak that goes all the way back to their time in Korea Contenders. On the clock more than a fine, that is definitely not what they were hoping for. Oh, they're going to chase, too. They're going to get Ivy oh, late. Oh, that's so painful. And now you're stuck in the door. 15 I, seconds left. not going to hang around, and they are backing off to the point. Uh, if they can touch. Yeah, Roki with this sneak attack. He's going to be able to touch at the very least. So important. Shatter ready. Gravel gets. Oh, oh, he gets spotted. Oh, he gets spotted in D9. So Negates that grab with this defense matrix. Comes back and kills Bumper. What more do you want from your D.Va player? It is a bit too predictable, right? Because once that trance goes down, if you're, if you're Zarya, you're like, sweet. Yeah. Now there's nothing to keep you alive. I'm gonna force the sound barrier. It's all gonna be groovy. There's the bow, nothing dies. Nice little shatter over the back there. Roki's on top. Oh, Bunny pinned into the wall. That's terrible. IM37 gets this rally cut short immediately. It's a little rusty, IM37, but you know, he'll get those sticks. He'll get those ball spawn plays. Doesn't get the play tracer that often these days. Unless it's ladder, of course. There we go, Barrage. One, two, looking for three. Not gonna get it, he did his job. Uh, he'll get resurrected as well, unless they really camp this body. That's actually what he's looking for right now. <laughs> well, Aren't you playing with fire, Roki? That's what you get, you get burned! It's fine. Hoxall's gonna let you get away with that for free? I, uh, I mean, we will have the swap. We will have this change of strategy coming in here from the Defiant. Back to the tried and true, although Neko will be staying on the Ana, taking advantage of this high ground. For now, looks like he dropped down to the low ground, so he will be there to keep his team alive. Nice counter nade there from Twilight, though. That's going to definitely throw Defiant off step for just a moment. And now we will get the boost. Oh, oh and we get slept, and he stays slept too. Second shatter from Bumper in this fight ends up taking down I am 37, and they play the patient waiting game. They will eliminate the remainder of Toronto, Vancouver, remains undefeated in the Overwatch League.